day. Hey Pisces, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. How the heck are ya? We're dropping the King of Wands on the floor over here. All right, how the heck are ya, Pisces? Hey, this is a general reading for the sign of Pisces, so we're just going to jump straight into it, okay? We're just going to jump straight into it. Spirit, I will leave a timestamp um, for you guys who don't like the shuffling to skip the shuffling, okay? All right, so spirit, the shuffling, I call it shuffling, it's actually channeling, so spirit, source, universal, guidance, spirit, what is coming for Pisces, and what does Pisces need to know, spirit, what is coming down the road for Pisces, and what does Pisces need to know, what does Pisces need to look out for? What does Pisces need to look forward to? Spirit, you just fly on out of here as you see fit. What is it that Pisces needs to know? And what is it that Pisces needs to look forward to? Seven of Swords in the center of your reading. What's happening with Pisces? What is happening with this collective of Pisces, the sign of Pisces? What is it that Pisces needs to know, Spirit? What is it that Pisces needs to know? What is coming down the road for Pisces? What is it that Pisces needs to know? What is it that Pisces needs to know, Spirit? What is it that Pisces needs to know? Two more, Spirit. Two more. What is it that Pisces needs to know? Old school Pisces. We're not doing camera today, right? I just look like shit, and I just really don't want to be on camera. <laughs> but I have the need to read. I'm knocking out, actually, with some readings. Prince of Cups in reverse. Okay, some uh, YouTube readings, right? Um, I've been doing personal readings all morning, doing YouTube readings this afternoon. All right, so the Seven of Wands in reverse to the devil. What else is it that Pisces needs to know here, Spirit? What else? Ace of Wands in reverse. What is it that Pisces needs to know, Spirit? What it is it that Pisces needs to know? What is it that Pisces needs to know? The Queen of Wands. What is it that Pisces... Whoa! That's just too many, guys. Just can't do them. Just can't do them. All right, what else? What else? Oh, what was that? Huh, 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 huh? Boom. The star. All right. All right. What else? What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know, Spirit? What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know? What else? What else does Pisces need to know? What else does Pisces need to know? Anything else? Going once, going twice, going three times, going. <laughs> That's like half the deck, you guys. So I'm just going to leave them upright. Going, going, going. Oh. The Alchemist in reverse to the King of Wands in reverse. All right. Let's see what all this is about, Pisces. Let's see what all this is about. So the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, a lost opportunity to the Two of Cups in reverse, an imbalance in a love situation. Yep, Four of Wands in reverse. There was a lack of stability, a lack of structure. Uh, it posed a huge challenge for you. And the Queen of Swords executed something in regards to this situation. The Knight of Swords. Okay, hold on. What's happening here? Is this communication coming in? Is this communication between the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords? Hmm. No, it's not. Okay, so this is explaining what you did. Okay. Um, and we'll go back and read this from the top. So just bear with me. Bear with me. The Two of Pentacles in reverse. It was disorganized, right? The Four of Wands to the Empress and the Six of Pentacles and Justice in reverse. Okay. The Eight of Cups in reverse. Uh, this is hopelessness. Hopelessness to the Hermit in reverse. You withdrew. 
from any kind of teamwork and collaboration. To the Two of Cups, the King of Cups in reverse, and Two of Cups in reverse, King of Cups in reverse, and the Magician in reverse. Got it. Judgment. This is the decision that you made because of the Seven of Swords. There was betrayal and deception that threw you up in your head hard to the Four of Swords. And the only way that you could control yourself or the emotions that you were having was, or your sense of security really, was to uh, leave this situation. Got it. But now there's the Princess of Cups. Princess of Cups, there's a message coming in. To the hangman, Pisces, doing what Pisces does best. To the high priestess. Um, two of, of Pisces, Pisces to Pisces, hangman to the high priestess, to the devil in reverse. Okay, got it, got it. Tell me more about the high priestess, the hangman, the devil. Justice, tell me about this. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this, please. Lack of success. Fall from grace, state of disrepute. What else? What else is happening here? Queen of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. Hesitant and defensive. Mm -hmm. So tell me about justice right here. Tell me about justice. Why, why is this justice for Pisces? What is justice for Pisces? What is justice for Pisces? The, the, the not sharing of emotions? What brings justice in for Pisces? What brings justice in for Pisces right here? What brings justice in for Pisces? Fine, I will take it. The Page of Cups and the Page of Swords. Okay, so that brings justice in for Pisces. And then we have the Prince of Cups in reverse, right? This is um, the not sharing of emotions to the Seven of Wands, hesitant, defensive. And I see. To the devil. Again, the devil, the second time. This is the upright, though. The devil. This is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. The Ace of Wands in reverse, talking about a lack of motivation. The Queen of Wands and the Star. So who is this Queen of Wands right here, Spirit? Who is this Queen of Wands? Who is the Queen of Wands? Is this the bearer of this message right here? Who is this Queen of Wands? I think it is. The Queen of Wands wants hope, faith, purpose, and renewal with the star. That's what's going on. This Queen of Wands is this devil. I see what's happening. I see what's happening. Yep, look, they want to recover, and Pisces is swerving the situation with the Seven of Cups in reverse. <laughs> Two of Swords in reverse, Lovers in reverse, uh, the Chariot to the Emperor. Tell me about Lovers in reverse, please. Tell me about Lovers in reverse, please. What is Lovers in reverse about right here? What is lovers in reverse? Yeah, lack of love, right? Lack of love and that set, whoops. Well, I had, oh, there it is. I'm going to take that anyway because I, uh, it's, you know, it's no mistake that that happened. Okay. All right. To the chariot, moving on out to the emperor. I think this emperor is you, Pisces. I think this is you making boss moves, taking control of yourself right here. Tell me about this emperor. Tell me about this emperor. Yep, taking inspired action because um, you're stuck. You're, resistance to, you're resistant to change. The alchemist, you have a lack of desire to manifest. And the king of wands in reverse is who this person really is. The eight of swords. Have they changed? Have they changed? Have they changed? Have they changed? They want a new beginning and a new journey, but there's lack of faith and you're moving on. Okay.
Cool. So let's read this from the top. Hold on a second, though. I got this heater on in my my uh, office room here, and it is freaking killing me. Hold on a second. Little bear. Little bear. All right. Let's do it. Let's start from the top, Pisces. Okay. So, lost opportunity in a love relationship because of some severe disorganization. Okay? Severe disorganization. What happened? The four of wands in reverse. There was upset in your sense of stability and structure, which really, really challenged you. You, as the queen of swords, made a very serious decision to get the hell out of Dodge with the knight of swords. Six of swords exiting left. Not, no, no, done, just done. These three cards right here tell me that you immediately left a situation. Immediately. Um, there was some kind of upheaval in an important relationship that affected the stability and the structure of your life. It, it challenged you enough where you were like, fuck this, fuck that, and fuck you. I am out of here. And that's exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. Lovers in reverse. Some kind of huge misalignment of values between you and a significant person in your life. And then temperance comes on top of it and says, I am not tolerating this. I will not accept this. I will not tolerate this. And not only am I out, but I am severely, very quickly, very urgently out. I'm leaving. Goodbye. And that was the end of it. The four of wands, right? This, the structure, the foundation, the stability that, that you, that was messed up over here, right? To the six of pentacles. So you were giving and receiving and sharing with somebody, whether it's family, love, roommate, right? <laughs> a significant relationship in your life. You were giving and receiving with someone. The empress, right? You were, you, you held title in the household. You had abundance. You were very satisfied in the situation. Um, I just want to point out that this could be some kind of a mother figure that you've had a, a, a parting of the ways with. Just want to throw that out there. Um, and justice in reverse comes in and says, because of unfairness, dishonesty, and a lack of accountability, you tore your ass out of the situation and you left. Eight of Cups in reverse talks about uh, walking away, right? Absolutely walking away. Judgment, making a huge decision to the Seven of Swords in the center of your reading because there was some betrayal and some deception. Somebody was trying to get away with something and you called them on it and it broke the relationship. Hermit in reverse. You have you are you are withdrawn and disconnected from this person. There is no communication happening, probably not even an energetic connection. You are withdrawn, disconnected, isolated from this person. There is no teamwork and collaboration. Two of Cups in reverse again. There is an imbalance and a breakup of some sort. King of Cups in reverse. Emotional volatility because of the betrayal and the deception. And the Magician in reverse comes in and talks about manipulation. A lack of desire to manifest anything further because of some fuckery and some manipulation with the Seven of Swords. Trudet. Eight of Swords. In your head. Thinking. Um, Thinking, how can I change? What can change? What will change? To the Four of Pentacles, not willing to change. Tell me anything about this, Spirit. The Eight of Swords to the Four of Pentacles. Anything about this? Yep, I am not entering into, I am not committing to anything with you. Um, I am thinking and overthinking and I am in self-protection mode. I am resistant to any kind of change. I do not want a commitment with you in any way whatsoever because of the conflict that you have caused in my life. Well, guess what? This person, whomever this may be for you, comes in with the Princess of Cups. 
<coughs> excuse me, Pisces, this is a message of creation. It's a small message of feelings. Hey, how are you? Hey, been thinking about you. Hey, 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 Pisces. Hey, right? This puts you in classic Pisces mode, the hangman, right? Really thinking about this. Maybe not even answering right away, but really, I mean, you just like immediately go into boom, hangman, right? Hangman to the king of swords in reverse because you are pissed off still about what happened between the two of you. Pissed off off about what happened between the two of you about this person's fuckery and i feel very strongly as a matter of fact i would bet my bank account that this well maybe i wouldn't bet my bank account but i would bet i would bet some good money on the seven of swords that this person did this to you and you did not do this to this person just saying so, super pissed off in the hangman mode. You're like, what? How am I doing? How's life going? How about I'm sorry I ruined your life. I'm sorry that I caused you all kinds of issues. I'm sorry that I was filled with fuckery. I'm sorry. But no, it's a princess of cups. Hey, how are you? Right? Throws you into the hangman energy because you're still pissed off. The high priestess, Pisces again, comes in. Doing your Pisces thing. Searching your subconscious mind and your intuition. Feeling your way through this communication and this situation. The devil in reverse. Your intuition is telling you to remain detached. To the six of wands in reverse. Because there is a fall from grace and a state of disrepute because of this person's seven of swords bullshit. Justice. Major Arcana, I mean, there's a shit ton of Major Arcana here, but Justice saying this is vindication. This is vindication. This also is saying that this person might be speaking their truth if they can muster truth. But justice is vindication. You have been, there is honesty, truth, and fairness being spoon-fed to you, Pisces, with this justice card. Eight of Wands, justice is also saying your justice, your justice is the Eight of Wands in reverse. Hold off the Queen of Pentacles to the Nine of Wands in reverse. Hold off, be defensive, be hesitant about being this person's Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who holds title in someone else's life. It's, you know, your socks are on the floor, your dishes are in the sink, your car is out front. Hold off. Um, be hesitant to jump at being this person's Queen of Pentacles again. Princess, Prince of Cups in reverse to the Seven of Wands. Same thing, right? Don't, don't, don't let go of your emotions. It's unrealistic of you to express or share emotions with this person. Seven of Wands in reverse. This is overwhelmed overwhelmed by what by this person's page of cups princess of cups same card by this person's little bits of communication um page of cups is communication about creation page of swords is communication and i think this is first of all a a a little communication about a nice communication and then the page of swords i think is this person maybe speaking a little bit of their truth um to you the devil, right? Speaking some truth about maybe toxicity, about why shit went down the way that it went down between the two of you. But nevertheless, this person is presenting as the devil. This is a toxic attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. To the ace of wands in reverse. Um, lack motivation, right? There's been the, just, just, I just don't want it. To the Queen of Wands, this is this this is this person that's bringing in these messages to you. This Queen of Wands, male, female, it doesn't matter. Penis and vagina is not a part of spirituality. It's a part of your physical being. If you cannot wrap your mind around the fact that these energies are interchangeable, then you are a mental midget. Okay, do not. 
pin gender on these cards. This is a softer, more feminine energy. The King of Wands is a, a more harder um, go-getter energy, right? I'm Taurus, Sun, Pisces, Moon, Pisces, Rising, Pisces, Venus, and I show up as the King of Wands in almost every one of my readings because I'm a badass. So, so, the Queen of Wands, male, female, this is the person that's bringing in these messages. The queen represents just a more, uh, a more feminine, softer energy that's bringing in these messages. They want hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. They want to resurrect this relationship from the dead. Seven of Cups in reverse. You are tempted. You're tempted. To the Two of Swords in reverse. Um, this is information overload. Lovers in reverse. There is a misalignment of values between the two of you, and that's just simply the way that it is. Um, your temptation is short-lived because you quickly snap back to reality and remember the betrayal, the deceit, the shady behavior, the mind games, the, the, the stuff that happened between you. And you're like, oh, hell no. Ace of Cups in reverse. I took my love away from this situation a long time ago. Queen of Wands in reverse. You could not meet my needs then. What makes you think you can meet my needs now? Ace, uh, I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups. You want to exchange feelings to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Why? So I can get more of the same? So I can have limited success and reward again? So I can screw up my vision for my future again? I don't think so. Chariot, I'm going to roll on out to the Emperor because I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I have authority, establishment, and structure in my life. I am amazing. And I don't want a relationship with you again. I just don't. The Knight of Wands taking some inspired action to the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Stuck like Chuck. Death in reverse, a personal transformation. No, this is a resistance to change. So what this is saying is that you are taking inspired action, right, to keep this situation stuck in the past. A fear of change, a lack of a desire to manifest, this is also about you seeing and calling out the manipulation that's being done by the King of Wands in reverse, who is the culprit here. The King of Wands in reverse is a self-centered, egocentric, uh, narcissist, narcissistic personality. And I know that's thrown a lot around a lot, and I hesitated to use it. But man, I mean, high expectations, arrogant, impulsive, hasty, ruthless, self-centered, egocentric. Look up the definition of a narcissist, and boom, there you go, right? Maybe not talking clinical narcissism, but this person, this person is filled with betrayal, deception, and deceit. Eight of Swords, in my mind, am I, has it changed? Has anything changed? What do I need to do to change this? Ha, is, is anything different in this situation? The Fool, brand new beginning in a brand new journey, caught up in a mental imprisonment with the Eight of Swords about going out and, and test driving a new relationship with this person. And the spirit comes in with the star in reverse and says despair is the only thing that's on the table for you. Disconnect yourself from this situation. Despair is the only thing waiting for you. And the five of cups in reverse. Move on from this situation. Move on. Leave it in... Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where to go? The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Leave it in the past. Just leave it. Leave it in the past. Move on. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Don't manifest. Don't manifest. Because the Ten of Pentacles with this person is really the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. It's a lack of ambition or focus. They're not serious. They're not serious. They are not. 
serious. They are the same person that you left behind right here. To the King of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Um, this is you having control, security, and power in your life and moving forward into your future with enthusiasm, discovery, exploration, and looking, see, he's looking away. He's looking away. Look from the fool. See, look, the fool, new beginning and a new journey with this person right here. New beginning. See, look, deception is looking at the fool. Well, the fool's not really looking at anything. He's just kind of looking off that way. Deception's looking at the fool. New beginning and a new journey. And then you, Pisces, come in with the page of wands and you're like, nah, I'm out. I'm out. Look, the king of pentacles is looking that way too. I'm out. Don't want it. Not interested. No thank you. I have long-term vision for my future. I have long-term vision for my future. Ten of cups. There's a severe misalignment of values between the two of us. The Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. This justice, <coughs> excuse me, Pisces, this justice, this is this. This vindication allows you to close out this cycle of your life. The Emperor in Reverse, right? This is exhibiting um, some self-discipline. It's a need for self-discipline. Well, let me just erase that. It's inflexibility, okay? You are not flexible in your decision here not flexible at all to the six of cups do not want to reunite do not want to reconcile your differences with someone from your past and boom inner strength and it's it, you you're going to have to pull on a great deal of your reserves to be able to successfully manifest your way out of the temptation of getting back together with this person these cards are saying that this is no bueno, no bueno. It's uh, it's not good, and um, you don't need to engage in it. You're strong, you're healthy, you're recovered, and you are moving into your future, and you do not need the fuckery of this person in your life, the injustice of this person in your life, the manipulation of this person in your life. There you go, Pisces. That was your reading. I do hope it helped. Namaste.